red notice. And if you notice, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, big stars in this, Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, and The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, basically a, a three-headed monster spearheading this art heist buddy cop film um mm-hmm. you know it's action comedy it's many yeah. things it's it's all is everything and nothing all at the same time it feels like at points um you know it's funny i feel like where we've kind of gotten to and this this feels very much like it like it fits for this take um netflix to me feels like it has three different lanes for movies it's either they're gonna go like the romantic comedy, really cheesy, kind of crappy love story. They're going to do like the really auteur movie, like the one we're about to talk about in a second with passing. And then they kind of just go with these like fun action comedy movies that are pretty brainless. And you just kind of like sit down and you're like, oh, well, that was fun. And I had a few laughs and some cool set pieces. And now I can forget about this movie for quite a while. And Red Notice fits that perfectly. Um, how did you How did you feel just sitting through this uh two-hour movie yeah again not a not a movie i think anyone had expectations for it's a movie that netflix actually picked up early on the process from universal pre-pandemic it was not dumped on them they actually just kind of took it over from universal and you can you can see why because it's something they can just throw on their front page and it'll be watched tremendously and because it has three very famous people in it it's easy to advertise and it's it's a great success for Netflix. Whether it's that great, it's kind of irrelevant for their goals with a movie like this. And yeah, I mean, I I enjoyed it quite a bit, honestly, for having no expectations. You know, just kind of watching three actors I like, three actors that are nice to watch. Uh, they all have fun presence and, and charisma. Mm-hmm. It's kind of good enough, honestly. I thought the movie looked pretty good. You know, they did film in Italy a fair amount with for this, so. I was just kind of on on the ride, and that was good enough. You know, it, it's not it's not a great movie, but I did like this more than Jungle Cruise, honestly. If we're talking the ride, oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. I didn't like it as much as Free Guy. If we're talking Ryan Reynolds, but I think Free Guy just has a little more under the hood uh, thematically, mm-hmm. which is which is well documented at this point. But Red Notice, uh, pretty fun. You know, for, for a Netflix movie, this is. For an FX blockbuster, that I mean, the price tag on this movie has been banging about a lot. Uh, I believe it, it's their most expensive movie as of right now. That'll be surpassed by The Gray Man next year, the Chris Evans Gosling movie. But it's a very expensive movie. It's the whole thing, right? But I uh, thought it was pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, I, I thought it was definitely um, one of the better like uh, action comedy movies that we've gotten from Netflix for sure. Um, I, I thought Ryan Reynolds in The Rock, though, uh, I, you know, I, I never really bought The Rock as being like this, like FBI agent. And that seemed like <laughs> a very easy thing to just see through pretty quickly. Um, I thought that their chemistry was was fairly decent. You know, The Rock kind of playing like the straight man and Ryan Reynolds just getting to be himself. Uh, right. which well, is, the, and the rock being the straight man is is also the rock being himself. That's kind true. of his role every time, as we talked about Jungle Cruise. Uh, he definitely got to be a little bit more romantic in this one at, at points, which is, is mm-hmm. good for The Rock. Um, it, in Free Guy, was Ryan Reynolds uh, just kind of himself in that as well? Oh, for sure. Yeah, Free Guy is so fourth wall breaking and meta that it's kind of uh, overdosing on it, you know? And that's mm-hmm. where some of the criticism comes in. But yeah, I mean, this was clearly just textbook trademark Ryan Reynolds, mile a minute, spit out as many laughs and one-liners as uh-huh. he possibly can kind of thing. And yeah, it's one of those things where like you, you'd like it if the writing's really good. In this case, that's not, 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 not true. Or if like everything around it is okay. Like six underground, Michael Bay, just Michael Bay doing crazy ass shit. You you live with Ryan Reynolds doing his, his thing, you know, red Mm -hmm. notice jet setting around. looks pretty nice. It's kind of fun. You live with Ryan Reynolds just kind of being dumb sometimes. Yeah, uh, totally. And uh, I think, even though sometimes the like mile a minute jokes can be a little bit grating, I think, and just kind of like, okay, like his stick can wear thin after a while. I think, I think it was like fine enough. And uh, especially once you start getting more Gal Gadot 
in this. I'm, I'm just going to say your name differently every time because I never know if yeah. it's Godot, Godot. Um, yeah. I think it's Godot. I think it is too. Um, when she comes in as the bishop and is much more involved, and I think the movie really just kind of like moves from there. I do have to say, very plot heavy movie. They're going, they're going a lot of places, uh, a lot of MacGuffins. I did like that. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Reynolds is like, look for the box that says MacGuffin on it when they were <laughs> looking for the the third egg because I, I thought that was a yeah. great yeah. Uh, meta moment. Yeah, exactly. Because like the movies, in that sense, movies like. Yeah, we know this is kind of dumb and unbelievable. So just go with it. We're, 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 we understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and you know, it, th- this is, it kind of pulls in uh, like so many things that's like, you're going to find something you like here, whether it's like the art heist aspect, whether it's the action scenes, um, you know, whether it's uh, the like goofiness of it. I like uh, Boche. Um, Stymatopoulos. Yes, yes. From uh, Silicon Silicon Valley. Valley. Fantastic. And just like seeing him show up, I was like, oh, this this shit's about to get weird and funny. And it it definitely did. Um, And yeah, you know, it. (laughs) I I thought the Ed Sheeran moment, though, I kind of felt like out of nowhere. And I was like, is this this real? Like, is this really happening in this movie? It it got a laugh out of me. And, you know, Netflix today was trying to like, uh, pump that make it a meme a bit maybe maybe it will maybe it will stick but it there was enough about this movie where i was like that was a good way to spend two hours i've watched worse movies than this for so. sure yeah uh, again the meta moment right ed sheeran cameo playing himself is one thing but him saying i was in game of thrones is already acknowledging what you're thinking in your head about random <laughs> unexpected ed sheeran cameos in a movie so uh-huh. or tv love it um, Ed sheeran bitch <laughs> uh I'm also always here for any like plot finding like lo- like hidden Nazi gold and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Uh, obviously, that that stuff, the Cleopatra's eggs, all that's the historical fiction stuff is fictional. But mm-hmm. I still love, I always love that stuff. You know, like uh, reminded me of one of the old plots for Indiana Jones Five before they actually started making it was that Indy was looking for a lo- uh, the the famous Nazi mm-hmm. gold train that was perhaps buried somewhere in Europe, which probably is totally fake uh i love that kind of stuff so them finding a secret bunker in argentina or wherever they went uh really fun uh yeah and i think it's just like the charisma uh, of these mm-hmm. actors yeah i mean their lines they aren't that great i i, I think particularly of the one moment where the rock and and reynolds they like are having like a heart to heart when they realize they're kind of the same even though they're opposites then uh the rock's like yeah and you know, I, I became a, I came a, a cop to stick back to my dad, just like you. Like he just basically completely spells out like the plot oh, yeah. development that just happened, like as if the audience didn't remember what had previously been told. Stuff like that. I told you, like the script is nothing to write home about, but uh, I still had a nice time. Yeah, no, I, I did too. I, I just would jumped on to uh, Gal Gadot's um, like filmography here, right? And I'm looking here, and you know, pretty much outside of Wonder Woman and the Fast franchise, I mean, she's just had kind of like one-off movies here and there. Mm. Ralph breaks the internet, uh, uh, voice role. Coming up though, she's got Death on the Nile, Hell Kenneth yeah. Branagh directed movie. Oh, and then we have Cleopatra. Uh, at some point in the future, that's there's no date on that, but she's right. playing Cleopatra. In that. I yeah, wonder, Patty Jenkins once again. That that feels like potential for her to maybe get some more shine uh, i'm interested to see like how how if that will be like, even what the concept is going to be patty jenkins obviously has a lot of chops but really seeing them and them together it's hard to think is she going to kind of revert back to that wonder woman style and that type of movie or is this going to be a, bit right. more of a biopic uh, yeah just need more information on it. De- definitely definitely tantalizing right it hasn't been cleopatra movie in, in quite some time um that's a paramount and with the news of Star Wars Rogue Squadron for Patty Jenkins being delayed seems like Wonder Woman 3 will be jumping that in Patty's schedule. So we don't really know when Cleopatra's fitting into that because, again, Gal Gadot's involved in both projects too. So I don't think the movie's close. doesn't sound like it at this time. But, I mean, that that sounds really exciting. You know, I hope, I hope it's really great. Yeah, it's a, it's a good look for, um, for her for sure. Um, anyways... Red Notice, 
you can find worse films for sure.